Welcome to the Mario Era, Chapter 118. 118 on the Mario. It's a me. It's the portal season. It's a spring game up behind us. Summer in front of us. Let's surround them with talent, boys. And speaking of surround us with talent, it's you guys. It's Scoop. It's Toast. It's Jenners. I'm surrounded by Get talent. the fuck out of here. Hey, come on oh, now. That's too for early for that. Generous. He's speak too for early yourself. for that. <laughs> boo, boo. Yeah, boo, boo this that man. Guy. How you guys doing? Doing good, man. Yourself? I think we're all tired. You? Everyone's a little tired. We sent a yeah. text out. Who can go early? <laughs> we're on Murder, we She Wrote Time, boys. Oh, yeah. Murder, <laughs> She Wrote Time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Angela Lansbury, God rest your soul. There you go. <laughs> well, so we had uh, we had the spring game. So let's uh, let's go around thoughts. Um, you know, they did show it. It was on the ACC Network X. So you had to have the app to get it. But uh, your thoughts, Scooby? Um, Cam Ward's pretty good. <laughs> Slightly, Cam Ward's pretty good. I will say, I was. I wouldn't say I was surprised. I'm I'm unsure, as I've kind of said this, I'm unsure how he would look uh, in the pocket. And then we heard that he's looking really, really good in the pocket. And then you saw some live action, and uh, the pocket was uh, very visible. The offensive line did, did a really nice job. Uh, and they went ones v ones. So they, they held up very, very well against our... Um, our first teamers on the D line. Uh, he just looks so stupidly comfortable. Like he just kind of, it was so nonchalant. You know what I mean? Like he just made it look so easy. And now for me, I was like, okay, so obviously the, these are their base plays and they weren't running anything special. And, but everything was just so easy to him based on what I saw, right? The first touchdown, I mean, that's how easy that kind of shit should be. You, right? <laughs> we talk about it like, he's just on this, on this, it's not even a delayed drag. It's just a drag where they clear everybody out. He beats his guy, man. He's, he's just a pitch and catch. Seven yard, 10 yard drag touchdown. Just... That's the type of stuff that you're like, I don't understand how that hasn't been like that. Um, X looked great. Um, Isaiah Horton. I've been told, I've been told two years in a row now that Isaiah Horton can be that guy. That he really is very, very good in getting better and better and better. Uh, he looked great. JoJo looked very good. Nikar. Great catch. Um, and and our boy Lofton can do everything. He's that he's that guy. He's uh who is he? No one's gonna help you ding, this week. Ding 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 bell. He's a bell. Hey, hey what's no 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 come on. <laughs> you go, I got it, I got me. it. Let's go. Move on. No, no, what's your <laughs> name? First name. No, 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 no. What's his first name? Say Neil. his name. Oh, you find me. Jesus. <laughs> is that it? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll just play along that it's not. But go ahead. Um that's why I said the uh running backs, blah, whatever, who cares? I, I've also been told they're gonna throw it 40 times a game. So I'm not surprised by the lack of utilization of the running backs. I, I agree with your sentiment. My biggest takeaway, there were there was a couple takeaways for me. Um, but Cam Ward just how fluid and just how comfortable he was. You nailed it. That would you stole my gusto. Very extremely comfortable. Seems like he was in that offense for the better part of 10 years. Didn't seem to struggle, didn't seem to panic. And like just that one play where he goes up and just kind of flips it. He just did that the a couple innate, times. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Just the innate instinct to do it. I just felt he had that great pocket presence, that big, great pocket maneuverability, that great pocket improv. And that's what we had concerns. Like, hey, if he he's so good outside the pocket, how is he going to be inside the pocket? Kid was smooth, silky smooth, like, you know, like that fine dandy silk. He was fine, you know. Isaiah, I mean, I kept hearing about Lofton. I kept can you hear- also can we also say that first little shuttle? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Who? Yeah. Lofton. Lofton, who, who just to... turned around. Now he's and got the, in his face he's a mask. freshman. He's got a he's a freshman, but the, the kid's breaking records in like the, the weight room. So he's he's kind of a different animal. So Sometimes good. people just have that prototype, right? Zeus basically touched him out of the birth canal. And that's one of those dudes. Like he was touched out of the birth canal. And he just has the perfect body. And and then I saw it, Scoop, because like ah, he's gonna be like a Swiss Army knife. But then they put him at running back and he's really efficient at it. He's a big dude. He's just getting there. He's he's super comfortable in that offense as well. I'm like, that is a Swiss Army knife. I wasn't really expecting to see that. Wide receivers did a good job. I still think they can build on some chemistry with Cam Ward. There was a couple shots there that I saw. I, I felt for a spring game, though, I felt for a spring game, it wasn't as vanilla as I've seen. Remember, we saw Mark Richt in a spring game. <laughs> Okay, we saw Josh Gaddis, and yeah, that wasn't too. I, I felt like you know that how they were trying to get the running game going, some of the some end around things in the spring game. They were they were trying some things. So I was I was kind of I was kind of feeling it a little bit for a spring game kind of evaluation defense. To me, it was just I think so much of the offense popped eye wise. The defense I didn't really notice it. I knew the linebackers got better. We talked about it. They looked better. Right. But as far as for me, I think the offense stole the show in terms of the eye candy. I bought all that special candy, offensive candy off the shelves. Defense. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I agree with everything you guys said to me. Just he you can tell the game's just slower for him. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He just you can just tell. And so that gives me absolute total confidence going into the season that he's not going to get rattled by blitz schemes and stuff like that, that he's pretty much seen it. He knows what's coming. He knows how to react to it. And um, I would say that it's the best spring game offensively that we've seen in years. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been at least like three, four years since we've had a spring. And we're like, wow, the offense really looked good. Like that was that was cool. to That was cool to watch. It was cool to watch. And so you, you always know that historically the defense is ahead of the offense. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. The defense is always ahead of the offense. And it's later on in summer the offense starts to go ahead and pick up as they get more game plan specific. And then the defense in fall camp, because they've seen everything, they start to play a step ahead. But, yeah, I, I agree. And it's very impressive that it was Cam Ward who literally just stepped in and just made it work. And 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 you nailed it in the offseason. You're like, we need a guy that has the experience. We need a guy that has the experience. And now you know why. Right, It's one thing to have all the talent in the world and you could be the freshman usurper waiting in the wings. But when you have that many snaps under your belt, you're not rattled by things. You can come into the South Florida Heat on a new team, play against R1s who are pretty formidable. Right, They're not, they're not pushovers. And you basically make it look effortless. Like a walk in a park. Good job, Cam Ward. Very impressed. Yeah. 260. 17 or 23. Not even trying. Didn't look like it. Mm-mm. I mean, that's what it just didn't look like it. No, um, I would be surprised if it didn't break a sweat. Yeah, backup quarterbacks, interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we'll touch on obviously Jakari, which we assumed and we kind of touched on last week that he was probably going to enter the portal. Uh, best of luck. He's He really is one of the, the most stand-up dudes you'll ever meet in your entire life. Um, wish him all the best. I am, I'm rooting for him uh, wherever he goes. I hope he is wildly successful. Um I got to be honest with you. I thought he played the best out of the other three. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, look, uh, Poff Daddy, good. I mean, you know, you can see now he was in there with the twos and it just looked differently all around. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it wasn't quite as crisp. And I would imagine that if he were in there with the ones, it would be much more crisp. That's my take on it. Uh, he did have a really nice ball to Riley, Riley Williams, uh, his first pass, real good. Uh, and then uh, Emery, yeah, fine. I I I touched that last week. I, I think you you already know what you're getting there, and I think the ceiling. We saw the ceiling. I think we saw the ceiling reached. Um, I might be wrong. I don't know, but you need you need a backup. You need a true bona fide backup, which I think we have, and you also need to have a starter in that room for next year, right? Whoever's that backup mm-hmm. this year needs to be pushed next year, but whoever's starting next year. If it's not Luke Nickel because he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, uh, sliced bread, what Nutella? Um, that guy's got to be there, bro. So, Luke Nickel's got Nutella on him. I mean, just fucking stop the presses. Mm. Yeah, so. shit. Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Young receivers look good though. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna. I, I like that. Real quick, I and think Chase Poff, Robinson's not here. I think Poff looked 
like he was new to Power 5 football. I think he's going to be fine, but he looked like a guy who doesn't have that experience under his belt. I feel like Emery is that guy that, you know, you talked about Cam Ward, improv skills in the pocket, just does a little quick flip pass, makes it look effortless. I think Emery's kind of the guy that he's kind of that starting pitcher, that Tom Glavin type. He's going to basically come over the top every single time. He has to look a certain way to be effective, and he just doesn't have that out-of-the-box prerogative that I maybe he can develop that in time. And uh, Jakari, when we talk about the transfer portal, I just have like an interesting thought I want to get your take on, but we'll get there. Toasty, what do you think about those backup quarterbacks? Yeah, so I, I agree with guys with Poff. I just think that that's – listen, there's no doubting he's thrown for, what, 8,000 yards in FCS? Mm -hmm. So he knows how – like he he, he – but I, I expected there might be that first spring game a little bit of a hiccup, just power five now, significantly bigger defensive players and just fast – just just a whole different breed that he's going up against than he has been for his last four years. But I also have seen plenty of FCS guys that – That'll come. He's gonna he he he's gonna catch up to it. Um, so I like him in 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 the backup spot. Um, Jakari, listen, I agree with you guys. Everything about him personally, he's a great great kid, and I wish nothing but the best for him. Um, for me, it's the same thing. I'm like, I haven't seen the development over two years that I would expect that I would see. I just haven't seen that jump yet, and maybe it'll come. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But I'm. I think there comes a point where, where, as a staff, you can't keep hoping that it might show up next year. It's basically now been with three three spring games with him, right? So, um, because he was an early enrollee, so it's yeah. So I mean, uh, um, Emery. The one thing I think that you guys missed on is that you know, from a, a physical standpoint, there might be a ceiling that we have seen. But I'll never discount the fact that when he comes in, that dude comes in with a heart of a lion and that team rallies or will rally that huddle will rally around him. And that is something that you can't discount in college football. And I, if that's my third stringer, fucking let's just fucking go. Um, I really I don't even know. Did even I didn't I didn't even see I didn't notice any, anything with Judd. And then of course, you know, he threw we a have, pick six. We, we we have great. I wasn't gonna bring that up. Um <laughs> Al, you but, asked. Uh, I didn't see him. I saw something. <laughs> I'm just saying I did see him play. But uh, but then yeah, obviously super excited as long as we can hold on to who I think is possibly gonna be the number one rated quarterback. Uh, in, in the class of 25, and that's uh, Nutella Nickel. <laughs> yeah, Nutella Nickel. I love Nutella it. Nickel. <laughs> I, I hinted at it, but Toast opened the door, and I want to go ahead and make a parallel. You know you know what Jakari Brown, like his tenure at University of Miami is now ending, and I feel like the main reason why is Mario Cristobal, but I want to elaborate on a little bit. They're parallel universes. Because Mario Cristobal came in here in year two, and they made a mention of his salary, which we'll, we'll talk about it. That was kind of an inflated salary because they got to pay taxes and part of his organ salary. So that's not what he's making at the University of Miami in continuum. But I will tell you, because Mario Cristobal came in here so inconsistent, so up and down, right? You look at Jakari, and what has been Jakari's one knock? Just his inc inconsistent nature as far as delivering the football at times. He's got flashes of brilliance, and then he... he Fails to kneel down on the ball. Just he can't make a routine pass. If you could have figured that out, his ceiling is enormous. And I agree with you, Scoop. I felt like he was the second best quarterback out there. But Mario Cristobal is not in a position with what he's done with two years to allow a leash for Jakari Brown to see another year as a starter potentially this year. That's why he went into the portal, and that's why he got Cam Ward. Because he knows it. Now, if Mario turns around and he won two ACC championships and everything's running and we're like, bah, bah, yeah, maybe he has a little longer leash on Jakari. Because you know what? We'll make it work. We'll make it work. But I feel because Mario has to bet on something proven and Jakari just couldn't prove himself, I think those mirrored universes collided and became a black hole. And I thank Jakari because we, you want to talk about calamity. That who's going to be the quarterback versus Rutgers? That would have been a punchline, right? And that guy could have left then. The writing was on the wall then. He was out the door then. But I appreciate him doing that for the University of Miami. Obviously, the University of Miami had to ask, hey, could you please stay and play the bowl game? And we'll give you a chance to compete next year. But we wish you well. Great young man. Can't give you enough superlatives. Wherever you go, we're big fans. Orange Bowl boys forever will support you. I will say this, you brought something up and it's interesting because we're going into year three and you think it's safe to say that Mario realizes he's, he's not on a hot seat, but his seat's a little lukewarm 
from this. You know, it's not, it, it, he's not, he's not entering the year three that he envisioned on that airplane <laughs> on, on, on Moss, uh, Air, Air Moss one when he was coming over here, uh, you know, during that photograph. But yeah, it's interesting. He's got to be feeling a little bit of pressure here. He knows. It, it, and I think, and I think to that point, Ro, I think more so Cam, that's why you see Poffenberger here. Yeah. Yeah. He's, and that's essentially, we're thinking that Poff is going to be the number two guy. And Emery's the number three guy. Now, Poff and Emery are going to continuously battle throughout summer one, summer two, and you never know. But, you know, some you know entrenched coaches, some people on that hot seat, they can't get off of it. They get another year because they recruit so well and they have the class that's going to change it all, right? <laughs> Mario does that every year. So he doesn't get – it's a blessing and a curse, you know? Mario could lose his ass off next year, again, sign a top three class, and at a certain point, even – he's going to outkick that recruiting coverage. <laughs> so he doesn't have that luxury. I, and that's why I think he wasn't going to take a chance on something that was as inconsistent on the field as he was with his record. So that's why he's all in on Cam Ward. And that's why I think he's going to surround him in talent, surround him with talent this portal season because he knows what's at stake. Yeah, I and I think, I mean, we might as well just jump right into the portal uh, to just to continue that segue. I think Martinez is the guy uh, at running back. I think that that's the one who everybody wants he's the number one guy in the portal right so if you see here's what you're doing now it really kind of goes to what you guys are talking about here's what you're doing you've gone out and you got the top rated quarterback in the portal the the on paper was he i don't know maybe maybe not but optically a thousand percent you're going to go out and you're going to get the top running back in the portal and the top Who's portal beast and the port top <laughs> portal guy for the entire spring portal season. So now you've got Cam Ward and Martinez. You're probably going to get a number one wide receiver on the outside, right? So now you're going to have that guy on the outside. You're going to have Horton. You're going to have, uh, you're going to have X, George. Uh, then you're going to have Jacoby George, uh, and then you're right, going right. to have all these young guys, right? You're going to have a top defensive line. You're going to have a top, do well, I say defensive line? You're going to mm-hmm. have a top offensive line, a top defensive line, back end not as good as you'd want it to be. But you're going to have Roy there. and Riley, and oh, 100%, right? You, you are building this machine, if you will. And man, it's it looks great. It's awesome. It looks fun. Is this this feels right? If he lays an egg with this team, check the box. <laughs> that so 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 you don't think he feels the pressure because he's he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's stacking. To, he's obtaining talent, right? It's all about talent acquisition. He's acquiring all the talent he needs to be great. And by God, if he isn't, this town will burn it down. Yeah. And it's going to come this year. It's going to come very, very quickly. Yes. Like this team has to win because <laughs> you, because they should. That's the thing. It's not like, oh, well, maybe we get lucky. No, 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 no. You got all the pieces. Well, and it's the first game, bro. We know it's a down Gator team, but you're still going game. to Gainesville. It is the first it's, gonna, game. it's Gainesville. You're gonna. It's gonna be prime time. We know they're a down team. Um, I will say this: I saw a couple highway uh, highlights of uh, Lagway. He looked better than he did in the Under Armour game. So I'll, get, I'll give him that. Um, but yeah, like you have to come out and you can't lay an egg in that game. You can't even let it be close. Like you have to go in there and fucking win. You got to win. Like, I mean, win. Win, baby. Just win. Like, I don't want Wild there babies. to be a doubt in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is a fucking celebration, dude. You're up by, like, fucking 17, 21, something like that. Like, this team needs to, like, back bro, end we got to go. scares the shit out of me. But- University of my, our University of Florida, for all intents and purposes, could be 2-10 and 10 at the end of the season, 3-9. and nine. Yeah. You don't want to be on the 2 side or the 3 side. No. You just can't do it. Yeah, you, you can't you start can't the it. season that way. The way the last two seasons, you can't, bro. Like this fan base needs. We need a a, a long runway and a takeoff. 
Like we need to, we need to hit like six, seven, and oh. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. With, with, right. With the one, and, and we need to strike when the iron's hot because unfortunately we have Cam Ward for one year. And after right. I saw what I saw in the spring game, you know, there cannot be a letdown at that position. He's, he's just too good for this to be a problem. So let the man cook. Can we let him cook? Can we let Dawson and Ward I don't like that term. Cook. Just let him cook. I, want I don't like him. that term. No, I need him boiling fucking hot. I mean, I'm a Seahawks fan. I hate that fucking term, the whole fucking <laughs> let him cook shit. Fucking A. I'm, I have PTSD with that shit. That's not P. That's RTSD. <laughs> right? Yeah. Russell, Russell trauma. I mean, look, you can't, you can't, you can't fault anyone except Russell for that. He's a yeah, weird I know, dude. I know. I know. Let's not get sidetracked. No. So, so you gotta, you gotta right. let them do this. Right. So here we go. So hold on. So it's at Florida. Let's versus ride. FAMU versus Ball State Let's at ride. USF. That's gonna be a fun little Woo! game as well. Scoop no. on the road. That'll be <laughs> packed. No. Yeah. That'll be a big one. Then you got Va Tech. Then at Cal, you know, then you get into fucking at Cal. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> fucking at Cal. What a pain in the, the ass fuck? it is to get there, too. Jesus this is Christ. At, at we a have certain, a week off after that. So at a certain point, University of Miami, it, it, you got to go into Yoda territory. It's do or do not. There is no try. Yeah. You have a favorable schedule. If we look at it with the last year, 20 year glasses, it doesn't seem as favorable on paper as people want to make it out to be. But at a certain point, you better do it. it, it it's, I tell you, you know, there was a rumor with yeah. Florida State and possibly Clemson, the way that they can navigate is because ESPN might petition for them to go to the SEC. What the ESPN doesn't want because they have ventured interest in the SEC and the ACC, they don't want to lose Florida State and Clemson to the Big Ten. Right, right. That makes that's sense. Fox because that's Fox. So you could see them potentially brokering a deal where both those two schools go into the SEC and have at it. You two, <laughs> good luck, good luck, yeah. good luck. Right, and then the University of Miami is either going to have the option to either stay in the ACC, maybe the Big Twelve ACC do something to be like that next pretty girl on the bench that yeah you didn't get your first pick to homecoming, but yeah you know she might put out. We'll see. Anyway, but the reality I'll put out more than the first cap. It's a sad state of affairs. Bro. Now, Bro. I know we talked about Now, hold on, Scoop, because this was your thunder, and I agree with it, but it's a sad state of affairs. All right, because here's what I agree with. It's an easier track to a national championship if you just stay put, because if you go in the SEC, please, it's please just stay put. No, yeah. stay put. I, I want them to, but, but, you're not being asked to go with the hot homecoming girl because you've absolutely sucked balls for the last 20 years. So you aren't going to be asked to go over. It's fine. As it stands right now. Mm-hmm. Second, second choice. Uh, yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. That's all so, I wanted to say. So do more Listen, than the first choice. Yeah. What do you the want? way this whole thing is panning out with the way they're looking at it, I would rather almost at this stage if it's be a in seven a to ten and the seven is much more interested. You just stay yeah. with the seven, man. That's I would the fastest be, way yeah. to a perfect ten. <laughs> Five two <Two-fives>. fives. <laughs> hey, Five hey, whatever. Five two is tough. Five I twos, Jesus, Ooh. bro. Right, hell. <laughs> you got two fives. That. I like that. I like that. I like that. Two fives. <laughs> two fives. <laughs> Gone five. I don't even know what we're talking High five. About. I mean, two fives. Five. Two two fives can be settled with a six pack. Woo. <laughs> a couple those high whiskey, for that those one. whiskey yeah. glasses there you got you beer go. goggles and whiskey glasses <laughs> hey <laughs> after this one this is a double so after That's this tough, whiskey bro. glass on baby so I'll, so I'll bring this up this is an interesting little uh stat for you you talk about how well he has recruited and the increase in talent level over those three classes top six signees from 2022 in the portal gone and really only a couple of them are and really one of them is really an impact i made two with kelly but yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, we lost Nigel Lee Kelly. Um, I think he's going to, and now that's a dude that's going to end up on, at a P5 school. Sometimes you see the the talent walking out the door, mm-hmm. and when it walks out the door, you immediately are like, yeah, I don't think you're, you like, we were your homecoming queen. <laughs> you're not going to find something as good as us. And for the most part, that has been a steadfast rule, with some ex- exceptions. Lawrence Cajun went to uh, UGA. Yeah, but in this case, Nigel Lee Kelly's gonna—he's gonna do just fine. Uh, a, a freak talent, but at the same time, when I saw it, I was like, ah, that's kind of a little swift kick to the nuts. But at the same time, Jason Taylor's recruited so well at that position. Plus, Akeem Mesador's back. You're not—you have a luxury there that you can absorb those kind of blows. Yeah, I mean, that he is not he didn't a, play last year. Yeah, uh, they were just fine. 
and and they're and they're deeper this year. So I'm with you there. I mean, it did suck. Um, but look, I mean, look, Citizen, that was a great poll. Kid got hurt, yeah. man. I mean, mm-hmm. he, so you can't say, oh well, you know, all four of his guys. Well, I mean, Citizen's uh, it's an outlier, right? Mm-hmm. Not on Mario at all. I had uh, Lorenzo Nigel Lingard Kelly for vibes. some reason. Yeah. Um, you know, I I had heard. I don't know what the story is, and I'm not blowing anything out there i had heard it was more off field stuff than on field stuff so maybe that's the case uh and if that's the case maybe that's just it right it really didn't have anything to do with his evaluation of the talent the talent's certainly there um and the other two didn't pan out right, right. cyrus moss never gained weight um great kid mm-hmm. don't know where he's going or where he's ended up but but he couldn't do it and and um or Skinner. Skinner, went to, Skinner went to went to Louisville. Same thing. Also going to get away. Super inconsistent. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you don't. You don't. Right. I mean, look, they all, they don't all pan it out, right? If you if you if you're Saban and you and you get uh, you have 25 guys and uh, 22 of them are four and five stars. Uh, there's only a certain amount of them that are actually playing. So mm-hmm. those other ones just didn't pan out. Now those other ones. Didn't have the option of going wherever they wanted to in the past. Ours and everyone else's now, there's so many four stars, so many five stars that just aren't playing and want to go somewhere else. So it's not like they didn't pan out. They're not here. They didn't pan out. They had the option to leave, um, which they haven't had in the past. All right. Before we're going to take a quick break, uh, we have uh, OBBAI oh, breaking oh. down the spring game in the portal, but we got to talk about our friends first. Thanks. Start off with the one on scoops hat now i will tell you this so um they went live and i happened to be on ig at the time earlier today or yesterday um one of their uh, i guess uh work foreman she was on the roof of the crew and kind of doing a whole little this is what we do on the flat top roof this and that and she had a different hat on scoop that actually said paul bange i'm sure yeah 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 but it was it was good they're doing a flat roof and they're out there and uh, yeah Showing how they do all the stuff was kind of fun. It was relaxing. I was in the middle of a break, and it was uh, kind of therapeutic. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't have a hat yet. I have my own makeshift hat, and you know what? I haven't bothered him about it because I kind of like mine. I kind of like the fact. That no, you do. It, I like it, giving you shit. It, it, it looks. It looks great. I like the uh, the ad lib here. I pulled into my community two days ago, and there's wasn't blue, blue, brown. I'm blue. I'm oh, brown. It's a brown tarp. Brown tarp. Less yep. a little brown more top, subtle. I'm trying to get away with shit. The house right around the corner. Mm-hmm. So I know I know the neighbor. I know him well. So what did I do? I stopped and said, "Hey, so you're a good friend. Give this guy a call. Good neighbor. This guy, I'm a good neighbor." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say What's it, the but number, we it. I mean, no, no, we did. Okay. The fact that both I know the number. It, I yeah. know the number. And I'm a dyslexic freak, but it's 981 roof. 561-954-305. It does not matter. It's 981 roof. Remember that number at one point in your career life thing. Yes, you. You're going to need that number. And Scoop's neighbor needs that number too. And now he has it. Bange. 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 It's called testicles. Oh, bro. I'm on a plane tomorrow morning. I'm what, like a. 445, 430 in the morning. Me and Tao Tao, we're going to 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 Philly. Uh land of brotherly love. She loves Bryce Harper too, by the way. Like loves Bryce Harper. So I gotta get her Bryce Harper hoodie. That's the promise I made. But on my counter right now is my travel kit from Manscaped. No, no kidding. That's going with me. <laughs> and you can have that too with the promo code 20% off OBB. That's all you do. Take care of your boys for real. Even on a road trip, take care of your boys. I mean, they're your boys. Take care of them. They're your boys. Only boys you're going to have, man. You only get two of them. Yeah. Take Sometimes, care of those boys. It's true. Sometimes you lose one. I always yeah, love this true, point true. of the this point of the live spot where I look at the camera and I can tell Scoop's looking at his phone frantic, like, oh wait, hold on a second. What's going on with BTB? No, I haven't I haven't looked at all. <laughs> I, I do check out during this this uh segment because I think it's fucking stupid. But aside from that, right. <laughs> I don't like the testicle talk. <laughs> I mean, look, I I I've been trimming the shit for years. Welcome to the party. Um, our boy, he dude, his five unit max hit for the Masters. That was uh, and that was Phil Mickelson, Phil, top yeah, senior, yeah, low top. senior, and it hit. That was a five unit max play, and it hit. Love it. You guys would be so proud of me because I literally watched like the last nine holes. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
I will. I it, it was. I will. I will tell you this. That guy strangleholded that bitch. Well, look, He's Scotty not. Scheffler is is the. He's the best since Tiger. Uh, it's not close. He's the best ball striker on the planet. He's so it's, opposite. He's so opposite. It's so Tiger. awkward, bro. Such His footwork stoic, and the shuffle just, and the... It's such a stoic assassin, dude. He, he is. is just, he is. It he's is, become... He's become... No emotion. He's become close to... Ivan Drago. As, as close to Tiger as I've seen in a really long time. With, with, without the porn star ambient sex. Correct. Ah, Correct. He has... His wife is at home pregnant. They're about to have their their first child. Uh, but Scotty is it's his his ball striking is truly remarkable. Um, but I will tell you, Ro, uh, you picked the wrong year to watch the last nine. Like it was, yeah. it's the most boring Masters I've seen in a really long no, time. I actually appreciate it. No, I, I actually go the other way with it because I knew he was on, from just like the first few holes. He was just on fire. Everything was just dead ball straight. Everything he was. It's it's wild. It was me. right I, by the pin. I'm yeah. just like, wow, it, dude. I I mean, I don't I don't know the golf that you guys know, but I can appreciate greatness when I saw it. And I just I I was like, this is Sunday Tiger without the red shirt. I was yeah. like, this guy yeah. is on it's, fire. Uh, but he has Nike shit. I thought they got abandoned all their Nike shit. But I'm like, uh, yeah, not right. clothing. Not yeah, clothing. not clothing. So only equipment. Um, but he he's uh he'll go down as the best driver of the ball to ever play. He can literally do anything with it. Um, and maybe the best iron player, like close top five iron player. Like, it's so stupid how good he is. Uh, he, but if you look at like Tiger's stats and his accomplishments in comparison to what Scotty's done, you know, before he's whatever, 27, 28, they are galaxies apart, <laughs> which is pretty wild if you think about it. But it's fun to watch. I will tell you this we had a, there was a pool of 95 people. It was through, it was actually through Kennedy's Academy up at, uh, up north and uh there was a pool so i i put myself in the pool where you take there's six levels six tiers and there's selected people for each tier and you pick one in each tier and then you take the top four of your scores and you add them up to the lowest total wins right and so you really need all you need four guys to make the cut or you've got no chance that's tough right so i finished 89th out of 95 I had three guys make the cut, no chance. And Kenzie won third. Nice. Nice. BTD. Good for her. Yeah. There you go. It was pretty. She's Suckle like researching everybody. How has he played Masters mm -hmm. the last five years? I kid you not. It took her like an hour to put this thing together. And she got third. And she would have won had Morikawa not sucked ass. Oh, Sunday. he was brutal. Gotcha. Yeah. He spent more time in the sand than David Hasselhoff. Woof. <laughs> he did get up and down. He did get up and down for her on uh, on 18 to get third, though. Yeah. yeah for bogey yeah. after he had to hit it backwards out of the trees. But I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. It's the Masters. You know, and you guys have been hyping it up. That's week of the year. I, I had some family over. Again, my my drink of choice. I was back there mm -hmm. and then I was joining. And I was just watching greatness. It like, is pretty. I could yeah. appreciate some. Yeah, he's, he's pretty special. Yeah, he is pretty. So they have a no for you. Yeah, yeah, they have a no running policy. Yes. For all mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> phones, no yeah, running. But you know, the concessions are also a dollar fifty. Correct. <laughs> that is so stupid. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> like, no running. <laughs> Interesting question for you, Scoop. <laughs> I can hear Miss Doubtfire in the background. No running. It's <laughs> <laughs> a drive by fucking. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. I'm running. <laughs> You're gone, no, sir. Not. I'm you taking your ass gone. out. <laughs> yeah. You will I'm not run. Me. You will I'm not run. It's the I masters, bro. They, they do not fuck around. They don't yeah. care, bro. They will take your ass yeah. out. And you got those speed walkers, too. And you know, yeah, there's yeah. probably... Oh, you can speed walk. Oh, no. You can speed walk. You can speed walk. But if you yes. happen to get a little quick on a step, you're done. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They don't fuck around, bro. It's the masters. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like going here. to the Vatican. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't find <laughs> the words much. that were appropriate. Trying, trying to take Genders, pictures you in the bailed me out of a yeah, big one. Exactly. On exactly. How's that yeah. working out for you? Doing a That's selfie so in the well. Sistine Chapel. Yeah. yeah. What's All the right, question? So, Scoop, Sunday pin placement. Yeah. You, uh, Scheffler starts off on the tee box. You start off at the furthest part on the green away from the cup. Do you win so 18 that. holes that way? Yeah, I'd have no chance. And I, I gotta be honest <laughs> with you, I'd have a better chance of beating him if I started on the tee box. Okay. <laughs> it's the, there's 
I really don't think you have any chance. I mean, you're talking the furthest away, like the furthest spot away from the hole on the green. Yeah, there's there's no chance. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, you can't. I would have a tough time three putting from within 20 feet on most of those holes. Oh, those holes. Those holes are ridiculous. Nasty. Oh, like the like way glass, that they were nasty, breaking. Nasty. They're glass. And they make it, I think they make it harder on Sunday, right? Is that what oh, yeah. they, they no, purposely uh, try to well, do? The, well, I mean, the pin placement. The yeah. pin placements are the hardest of the week, but um, they. I had heard a numerous people say that they're the fastest screens they'd ever played on. Um, now, I mean, like some know. of those dudes were hitting a ball and they were like, they missed their runway by like a good, you know, 30 mm-hmm. yards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oops. That's mm-hmm. demoralizing, bro. When your return putt is longer than the one you just had. Mm-hmm. Happens yeah, all the time it's, with the it's Masters. It's crazy because, because <laughs> yeah, there's really, I don't think there's, there's no chance I would, I would beat him. No chance. Think you were going to be Tiger? I, th- here's the fucked up part. I can putt. Mm. And I'd have no chance. All right. That's enough. Could for the I be Tiger? Segment. I could probably be Tiger today. Okay, doing that. Yeah, but I wouldn't be okay. sure. But right. Tiger's got to walk. Well, it's only eighteen yeah. holes. No, eighteen holes. Yeah. No, no, no. I couldn't. If it, it were, if it were seventy-two, I could. Mm-hmm. He's falling apart. Oh, the hey, back. He's yeah, broken, he made dude. the. He's broken, dude. It's he's sad. barely breathing. And he's built Bro. up his upper body so much to wow. compensate. <laughs> That's dude, called, dude is ripped. That's called testosterone. Yeah, he's like the he's like the Hulk I mean, look, right you now, can't, bro. I'm not I'm not putting this out in the universe. This mm-hmm. is speculative oh, I can. scoop. I can't. <laughs> he's one thousand percent on testosterone. <laughs> Gets those shoulders that right. I, oh I, my god, I bro! See it. I know exactly. He's what Got that the looks triangle like. and the ne- neck going on. It's the face, bro. It's not yeah. even. It's not even the rest of him. It's it, bro. It's not. Yeah. There was it's a not, photo of him um, at Charlie's graduation, and there was a photo of Charlie with Ellen, and they showed Tiger to the side looking, and you just, I was like, oh my God, like, he is, yeah, he is, he is ripped. <laughs> it's just his upper body is enormous. Checkbox. Are you sleeping at night? No, nah, not really. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You feel tired during well, the day? A headache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get headaches every day. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Apparently, they said he uh, he swore off sex leading up to the Masters. Maybe he needs he needs to to have sex. Tough to do when you're on that shit. Yeah, well, (laughs) maybe he needs to have sex. (laughs) That's some uh, relatively impossible. I'm sure he's having puns with a bunch of like Waffle House waitresses. (laughs) He was so much better. Your packages at beatingthebookie.com. We should probably get that part in. All right. Yeah. Um, OBB AI. What you got, Jenners? No, oh, this is a strap this is, in for this. This is scary. Oh, this is, I, this I'm is afraid opus. of this, to be honest with this you. This is an opus. Well, what? here's the pr- here's the problem. Here's the problem. I haven't been logged into the AI in a while. So I log into the AI, and the AI goes, well, we can write music now. Oh, <laughs> no. Are we I singing? said, what? They said, oh, no, you can write music now through the AI. Oh, fuck. This and I'm like, how do you do this? You just tell it what you want. That never happened. Yeah. So uh, AI... Scoop got a little carried away with the music tool, like oh like all god. new like all new oh fun no. things. And toys oh my and god! So, oh no! Str- oh my god! Strap Even in. AI Scoop is a lead singer. No, he's not singing. Oh, but strap in for this. <laughs> Welcome to a spring game edition of the AI Orange Bowl Boys. We're back, boys. Where the hell have we been? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. But I had the AI program working on new theme songs for the show. Check this one out. Toast, Roman, Scoop, come on down. Dude, that's not bad. That is so fucking good. That's our new open. (laughs) Okay, also good, but I thought we were going to break down the spring game. I didn't realize that AI stood for American Idol. One more. From the grill fire straight to your ears. Talking football, culture, with no fears. We hustling every day, we don't play around. The Orange Bowl boys, we hold a crown. Toast the mastermind, dropping knowledge bombs. Roman spitting rhymes, always staying calm. Scoop got the scoop, breaking news every week. The Orange Bowl boys, we are dynasty of keep. 
we will have to put a poll up for everyone's favorite or something. We actually have football to talk about. Cam Ward looked outstanding. He was 19 of 24 with 324 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, but against our defense. So take that for what it's worth. That feels like an unnecessary shot at Jason Taylor. Watch your mouth. He's an ebony angel. Elijah Horton looked as good as number six for the Seminoles. Even AI Scoop can't remember his damn name. Zakari is gone. Citizen is gone. There's just too much happening now that the spring transfer portal is open. Oh, I almost forgot. I had the AI engine write a theme song for the portal, too. Miami's the place where the players go, but now they're leaving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're taking a new road and transfer portal. They're making moves, finding teams that fit where they keep group another one gone. I don't know how to feel about that. It's my new jam. So did we really learn anything today? Nope, nothing. So the segment is officially in mid-season form. Bange. Oh my goodness. Shit. My that goodness. Is fucking spectacular. <laughs> <Dude>. They're <laughs> so much better the than us. One, one in three. We have to play those back. One in three are I think three yeah. is my favorite. I think one was your favorite, one again. Yeah. I think one was just strong out of the box. Do, do, do we have Toast them isolated? Roman! Oh. Damn. All right. Strong. Here's the scariest thing. You just tell it what you wanted to say. I'll write a hip hop song about a podcast called The Orange Ball Boys with the hosts <laughs> named Toast, Roman, and Scoop. And it spits Amazing. out like 15 different songs. It's in like, I need thir- three. In like 30 I need three. seconds. I need three. Where's three? Let me give you three. Here you go. I need three. From the grill five straight to your ears. Talking football, culture, with no fears. We hustling every day. We don't play around. The Orange Ball Boys, we hold a crowd. Toast the mastermind, dropping knowledge bombs, Roman spitting rhymes, always staying calm. Scoop got the scoop, breaking news every week. The Orange Bowl boys, we are dynasty of kids. Oh, uh, we got a poll. Yeah. AI I'm, I'm Toast is right. AI oh, Toast. Good. AI Toast is so right, though. Like, <laughs> we didn't put a poll out. He even knows. <laughs> They're so much better. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I need those. We need those in uh, yeah. wave form. I got to make those like ringtones or something. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, I need those. I need yeah, those. I need yeah, those. Yeah, those. Masters those. is now gone. Scoop needs a new ring. Uh, yep. I also and my really wife's going to want the last one. It was like a boy band. I really Bro, enjoyed the portal ends. theme, though. <laughs> Just because it was like, they're in there. Oh, the portal awesome. thing. Yeah. They're gone. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So. Oh, my God. How do we put these out there? There you go. Yeah, wow. We are, we I'll, are. I'll put them up on uh, on YouTube. One in three. Oh my god. How do we do? How do we do a poll? We need a poll for one in three. How do All we right, do we'll, we'll put it out. That's, That's what AI said. Yeah. That's what AI Toast said. I know, but can you like link them where they can they can yeah. listen to them and then poll it? Yeah, yeah we'll I'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. But, Holy yeah, so there you go. That's awesome. So the glorious good. return of the AI. Holy so. fuck. Well done. Now I gotta figure out how to get you guys to sing the songs. That's the next step. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, we got some other Kane. It's a lot of Kane stuff here, man. I guess with the spring and everything. But uh, first, there was an interesting report that uh, someone, I think, at on three threw out, reporting that Mario's compensation for last year ended up being one hundred and seventy nine million dollars. I believe it was no, it was uh, like twenty something million dollars or whatever. Twenty two, um, I think. Yeah, twenty two million. So that that number was very like just God, dude. That was the total number, but it doesn't all go to Mario. Nine million of that went to Oregon. That was the buyout. Yeah, I, we knew it was inflated. We knew it was mm-hmm. not that. We know well, he obviously got some sort of a bonus that was just interesting. Well, you he know, got the, the seven point seven for his base, but he got a like five million as a bonus for some reason, which is nice. We know the University of Miami. They said in order to attract top talent, you have to open the bag, and they mm-hmm. did. They didn't open it that's that much. NIL money. <laughs> they didn't open it that much. They didn't open to a record for private school institutions. It, there's a lot of myriad of factors in there. And I, as much as they try to make it a story, and, and you see this, right? As soon as the spring and we're into this dead season, they immediately try to make a story. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Nope. 
Um, if you're wor- wondering why FSU has been so quiet in the portal this week, it's because they can't be in the portal this week. They're serving a suspension right now, portal suspension for their MIMS recruitment. So they had uh, their uh, penalty for that was missing the first week of the spring portal action. So that's why they have not been involved at all uh, here over the first seven days. And hey, man, we got to say goodbye to somebody. Susan Miller Deegan has retired oh, from the Susan. Miami Herald. 39 I years. I didn't realize it was that long. I mean, I know since I've been involved and paid attention to the University of Miami and the beat and everything like that, I know Susan's always been there. I just didn't know it was that long. 39 years. It's incredible. She, she must have adopted so many cats. I got to be honest with you. That is somebody who I would imagine loved their job. Mm-hmm. For 39 like, years. With, with with everything she had, she didn't want to do anything else. Because there's a decent chance, I believe, there's a decent chance she probably was making less money at the end of the tenure yes. than when she started the tenure. When we're talking about the Herald and mm-hmm. how this whole thing, they got no money. Sure, no, they got no, absolutely. She's absolutely taking pay cuts, yes. To have a job, 100%. Yep. So, wow, good for you. I mean, good for her. That, I enjoy Awesome, it. awesome. I still find myself thinking that she's still going to go to events because she just doesn't know any better. She like, said she's still going to do some stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like she's going to show up to like Miami Hurricane game. She's going to show. She like that's her life. You know that's that's her life. She what? I I I just think she just she'll miss it too much. And we wish you all all the best retirement in the world, Susan. Well, they hired the, the the school hired what Chrissy Chirinos, right to be like yeah. their in house. They Media should person. hire Susan as like a uh, like an ombudsman who like l- just throws out a, a, a few like opinion pieces or whatever a year or something, just kind of like a on the state of the I don't know. But she has so much knowledge and history of the program. You'd hate to see that uh, all go. But I guess right now she's in the Pacific Northwest. It's all about grandbabies. Yeah, <laughs> I think they should allow her Zoom access just so she can answer, ask questions. Sure, one hundred percent. I mean, we Susan, can't you got like, a question? like now what I mean, who's going to ask those now? Oh, some like that's important shit, to be honest with you. AI someone will Susan. pick up the slack. Yeah. yeah nobody AI. else maybe, has the nobody else has the balls to do that. Stuff. Maybe we can get maybe we can petition Beast to start asking those questions because she literally can't get in trouble. <laughs> she can ask whatever the fuck she wants. And she other people can't do that. Disrespectful to football. That, yeah. You, other people can't do that. You're going to get that response. Susan, they're like, Susan. OK, we'll let you ask. It's who asked that, Susan? All right, fuck it. Mm-hmm. All we'll right, let it go. Wheel of topics. Let's get a couple in before we do five questions. All right, let's Apple just uh, we'll get some. Fi- we'll fire a few off here. Um, let's do Bobon first, just because oh I love God. this Bobon audio so much. So, <laughs> uh, Bobon Mar- uh, Bobon Marjanovic for the um the Rockets. The Rockets at the last game of the season have no consequence. They're not playing for anything. They're out of the playoff picture. The Clippers had locked up the four seed. Well, the Clippers run a promotion where if an opposing player misses two free throws in the fourth quarter in a row, everybody gets free Chick-fil-A. So <laughs> Boban's at the line. He misses the first free throw. Crowd starts going nuts. And he starts like, oh, oh, and he's pointing at himself like, you want the chicken? Let's go. Fans are getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans are getting a little little frothy. Oh, they're pointing to anything. And- Bobo's playing with the crowd. Say, you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. He's a man he of the people. He gave him chicken. He's a man of the people. He gave him chicken. He gave him chicken. He gave him free chicken. <laughs> He gave him chicken. He's Did he a miss man on the purpose? People. Did he miss on purpose? hundred percent. A hundred percent. He bricked yeah, it yeah, way he to the left. It up. Yeah. He yeah, bricked yeah. it way to the left. He's a He's man like, of the people. Oh, you want <laughs> free chicken? <laughs> but you have Point. to. Like, you can't purposely airball it, right? Because they give you another he didn't, shot. He hit the rim. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, he, yeah, yeah, he bricked it clean yeah. off the side yeah. of the left. And <laughs> oh, that's He's amazing. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. Give them their chicken. Give the man his chicken. Pay that man his chicken. That's awesome. That's great. Do you want to play any of the Caitlin Clark on SNL? Yeah, why the hell not, man? She's been quite the story. So Michael Che was making fun of uh, the WNBA, has been for quite a while, and they surprised <laughs> they surprised him with Caitlin Clark. And then they wrote a bunch of jokes that he had to deliver with Caitlin sitting there. So here's just a couple snippets here. 
And obviously, I can't tell jokes like you do. Thank you for that. But I did write some jokes, and it would mean a lot to me if you read some of them. Just right over there on the cards. Well... <laughs> The Indiana Fever have the first pick in this Monday's draft. A reminder that Indiana Fever is a WNBA team and not what Michael Che gave to dozens of women at Purdue University. <laughs> See, that's a good joke. And it goes on and on for like two and a half more minutes. It was good, shit. It was a good Saturday Night Live. They just Live. gave him a bunch of setups. And it was yeah. great. Very funny. Listen, man, she's had uh, quite the run. So the big story this week was after she goes number one is they threw down, she gets, you know, her four-year rookie deal and they uh, laid out the salaries. And so it's four years, 338,000 total. So year one is 76,000, 78,000, 85, and then it goes up to 97,000. So basically she's she's the, the the general manager of any restaurant in the United States, basically, any major chain restaurant um, from a salary standpoint. And folks are jumping on it. And listen, I, and I get it. But it's such you're, you're taking away all the context and nuance. The WNBA has never turned a profit. It has been fully subsidized by the NBA owners for 25 years. Play the so, beach music. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, listen, I hope that that changes. But to say, oh, they deserve to be paid, you know, five, ten million dollars a year. Like, bro, that like, no, they don't like you don't. None of you go to the games. Yeah, ladies, folks, y'all remember the Miami Soul? Yeah, ever been to a Miami Soul game? Any of us? No, no. <laughs> so no. just, I mean, just cool it a little bit. I mean, it's growing. It's only been in the league for twenty five years. Give them time. <laughs> but yeah, these early folks aren't going to make millions of dollars. Like, what the fuck? Eight and a half foot rims. Solves oh. it tomorrow. Solves it tomorrow. Ladies, everybody gets paid. <laughs> ladies, ladies, this is to you, right? I think it is remarkably cool that you have the WNBA. I really, really do. And per capita, men are bigger sports fans but we can't carry the WNBA for you. You're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to have to open your own door here, ladies. You're going to have to go to games. You're going to have to, you know, solicit your, solicit your mom, solicit your sisters. You're going to mm -hmm. support your product, right? Men are not going to do it, right? Because we, we watch a far superior product on the men's side because they can dunk at 10 foot rims. And if it was eight and a half foot rims, I would find that entertaining and I would go to games, but I don't want to go to a games just to watch shots and layups. All right. So ladies, ladies, Make it happen. Make it happen. You can't count on the men on this one. We're we're just not going to bail you out here. You're Listen, we'll going. watch the women's games when it's like the Final Four and big games like that on TV, but we're not going to be the ones who go buying season tickets. You're, you're so gonna that's going to have to be the 10th game yeah. of the season between whoever right. and whoever. I don't even know who's in that league. <laughs> I, I now know that Indiana has a team mm -hmm. and the Didn't mascot is a fever. I had no idea. They gave so I do know that. So, so well done. Um, hey, look, fever? it's crazy. It's crazy. Hey. She's doing... She's, now, here's the question. What type of endorsement deals is she going to get? Oh, because she'll, she'll be, she'll be everywhere. She'll be so fine there. Because it's the only way announced? she's making money, you right? see what she did after they announced her as the number one pick? No. Mm -mm. <clears throat> she shook. And I'm not kidding. First person's hand she shook, Jake from State Farm. There That's you not go. a joke. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. there. She stood right up. She shook his hand. Are you serious? Also, the, she, also, she is the very first draft pick from any sport, any sex that was dressed for the draft by Prada. Oh, yeah. She looks sleek in that black. She's mm. six feet tall. She looks short. It was all white, but thank you. It was you. all white. I did see white, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she, she looks, he, he, wa looks he watched it on monochrome I gotcha. television. No, I thought she, what, what did she wear a black dress to? She just wore a black dress. I just saw it. I, that's why I'm saying it. Oh, um, from, uh, she was wearing the, the black on Saturday Night Live. With okay. Che. All right, yeah. that's where I got. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but no, yeah. listen, dude, she's so going to be in every commercial all over the place. Yes. But her salary, her salary, this is a true story. This is true. She's making less money than Susan did the Miami Herald. Yes. <laughs> Susan was there for 30, yeah. 9,000 yeah. years. WNBA. She's playing yeah. basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's playing basketball for the endorsements. It's great. And mm -hmm. health coverage and whatever else that they get Pension. through the league, right? Pension, right. You insurance. Know, 67 yeah, bucks a month when she's done. Now, I haven't heard anything about like if she's going to be allowed to do the uh, the big three thing or participate in any other thing or if she's just right. locked into the W. I'm not sure right. how that all works. I heard but, that either. But I'd love she to had see the leverage. Her. If she wasn't able to negotiate that, that's poor on her part because she had the leverage to do They got to get her out everywhere. So they need to have her in front of as many eyeballs as possible for the good of the sport.
And whether that's WNBA games or Agreed. other exhibition games, Agreed. he used to be out there. Like, yeah, every little girl should be able to go see Caitlin Clark in their hometown at some point you in the next that, couple ladies? years. You hear that, ladies? Yeah, so. just told you. So we're, not we're not carrying. No, I'm that talking one for to two you. guys with, uh, with 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 daughters. So let's go. Yeah, um, and, I'm, and I'm fine with that. And why? Tally, true story. True story. <laughs> true story. I got to share this. Tally randomly comes up to me. She goes, "Dad, I what if I want to go ahead and try out for my softball team?" I'm like, "All right, we'll try this for science." Okay, so I go in there. I said, "Tally, I always thought you know you could probably be a good pitcher." She's real long and lanky, so I never really envisioned her as like a hitter. Right? She's an outside hitter in volleyball. She's perfect for that sport. She's got an archetype, and like as a swimmer, she's got like this swimmer body. Softball, I'm like, ah, you just don't have that softball esque kind of hitter vibe. But you're, you know, I think you could pitch real well. So I show you got to do this. You know, you got to just like, do this. The first throw she throws hits me right in the balls. Oh. Like she, I was like literally right there next to her about two feet and she just oh. locked me to which I look and I'm like, yeah, softball's out. And I'm like, and immediately got that stomach pain. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, no, you're not playing softball. Play soccer. Be a goalie. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just relived the pain too, because I yeah. I'm telling you, I was three feet away, just a little off to the right. I'm like, how did you hit me? I'm right over here. Go straight. <laughs> let's uh let's do five questions. All right. Five questions. What is your I'm calling it now prediction? All right. Okay. All right. Miami Hurricanes. Hold on. Let me uh let me just take a look at the schedule here real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm going right here. All right, I'm going, I'm going with it. I'm going with it right now. Miami Hurricanes are gonna win eleven games in the regular season. Eleven and one. Eleven and one. That's a bold move. Come on. Fuck yeah, let's go. I'm sick of fucking waiting. None of this means shit until they win at least nine. So fuck it. Oh, and one versus UF, but they'll run the table. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Oh, such an asshole. Hey, it ain't gonna happen because they're gonna lose game four too. So yeah. <laughs> what was the question? The exact oh wording? God. What is your I'm calling it now prediction? I mean, I guess we have to I was gonna do Canes too. I will say I believe. Mario Cristobal wins a national championship before he gets fired. At Miami? At Miami. Okay. Generous. Clippers are going to win the NBA title this year. After having not gone to an NBA Finals in 53 seasons, they're going to win it this year. And for me, Caitlin Clark is going to be the new Jake from State Farm. So, <clears throat> what is the biggest lie you've fallen for? Oh, so when I was a kid, so this is before, this is actually a reason why the FCC created a rule back in when I was a kid on the radio on April Fool's, you would have morning radio DJs that would actually pull fucking crazy ass pranks on April Fool's. And the one in Harford, this guy, Sebastian, uh, did a whole April Fool's prank that Avon Mountain was actually a dormant volcano and was erupting. And I fucking absolutely believe that shit. <laughs> and I uh, was hoping that we were going to have school canceled and uh, realized that, yeah, it was all when you got to the top of the mountain, they were just up there waving with balloons and shit. Oh, no. Yeah. But then the FCC created a rule saying you cannot do a bit like that where you could endanger the public or cause a panic. Huh. I would sit there and say that, you know how you have the age of wrestling where you just wake up one day. And you realize, ooh, this, this is not really real. <laughs> when you were a kid, you thought it was real. You know, you thought they was really hitting them. And then you hit your little brother. Your mom gets you in trouble. Damn it. Anyways, but the same the same thing. Certain 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 media outlets, yeah, you're not really fair and balanced as you say you are. <laughs> you're really not. It's almost I look at you the same way I look at wrestlers. You're on this side, you're on that side, you're both wrestlers. I don't really believe you as much as I did when I was in my thirties. You watch the news? Mm, seldom. 
because of and that. I'll just say that, you know, people say wrestling is fake. I get the overall premise, but you put someone in a figure four leg lock, that'll fucking break their leg. Oh, I've, I've made a couple of so much cry hurts. <laughs> like, like, stop I mean, it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. A sharp so, shooter. Yeah. Oh, a sharp right? shooter. That's no. not nice either. Yeah. No, it's not nice no either. Bueno. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's nice. Uh, biggest oh, lie. I would know, say, hold on. Yeah. No, go ahead. I'm gonna have no, a go bonus go spin-off question. No, I'm gonna have a spin-off question oh, okay. based off what, <laughs> what I was I was gonna say it's not the biggest, but it's most it's the most consistent. So in tenure, it's added up to be the biggest, which is every year for the last 20 years, until this one, I believe that the Miami Hurricanes were gonna be worth a shit. Mm. <laughs> every single year I fall for it. So I'm going the opposite direction now. Contrarian scoop. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Jenner's. Jenner's. Biggest Columbia lie you house. Fuck. Eight <laughs> CDs for a penny. Remember that? Yeah. That was a trap. Dude, it wasn't so much yes. a lie as much as it was a, a total marketing trap. Yes. Eight CDs for yeah. a penny. Well, now you're on the hook to they order They did. They'd send you eight CDs for a penny, bro. Yeah, they would send but, those but for you. But then you had to order 10 more at like 50 bucks a season. Or they would just send them to you. And if you didn't send them back in the proper packaging, then you were buying them. And it was always like fucking wham or something like that. <laughs> so but yeah, I fell for that a couple times. <laughs> People are potentially listening to this right now. I'm like, what's a CD? Oh, yeah. Well, that was a cassette when I started. Yeah, it was yeah, eight cassettes. Eight cassettes yeah. for cassettes, a penny. bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, 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 I still remember. I got, that's I how I got Zelda the Ghostbusters soundtrack. I was listening to the Hysteria <laughs> cassette, bro. On there my you walk go. When I was playing Zelda. Appetite, Zelda. No ghost. Appetite for destruction. Oh, there you go. Dude, I saw I watched a documentary with Jen uh, over the weekend. I guess an hour long on... Um, Guns and Roses, and uh, yeah, just going back to Appetite of Discuss, uh, Destruction and uh, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2, man. And then yeah. Alex, Alex Rose becoming an absolute gigantic asshole. Oh, it was beautiful. What a penis hat he was. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Hysteria is such a good Because album. of Toast, oh. he, he, he stirred a question in my mind, and I just want to go ahead and add it. If you're a wrestler, a professional wrestler, what would your finishing move be? Mm. Let's go. I'll go first because I've thought about this move because I don't think I've potentially seen people do this move. But you know the mm -hmm. rock bottom? Like he <laughs> kind of puts you under his arm and then yep. he like lifts you up and throw it. I would do what's known as a reverse rock bottom. It would look uh -huh. identical, but at the last second, I swing around and clothesline the back of your head into the mat. <laughs> I just think it would be savage. <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm doing the burnt toast. Oh, big a suplex. And then I fart on your face. <laughs> the bird. kind of like a rikishi sort of thing but i just fart on your face pop a squad oh, right down his your face g-string hats and cottage cheese hats in your man face. <laughs> and you that's say that shit ain't time. real that is that's about as bad as you can get that was the oh, worst bro. finishing move of all time like oh my god from munda that must have been coming from that man and you, you know, know, kids, yeah like not all those guys like each other right so you know that yeah, what? his kids are in wrestling. Like, I, I, yeah, yeah, his kids. You are know, in he didn't wash that for a couple of days if he knew he was going against somebody Stank. he didn't like. <laughs> Stank ass. Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Noise? God help me. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> that was the Fomunda Funk. <laughs> Fomunda Funk. Come oh, on, here's a show title name. Oh, Fomunda. God. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uptown yeah. funk you up. No, no, Uptown from under funk you yeah, I gotta take a shower. <laughs> Bro, yeah, he hated that wrestler in the bag. He's like, oh, I ain't showered. I'm gonna rub my ass extra long in his face. Oh, fuck. <laughs> can't do anything about it. What if he burnt toasted your ass in that moment? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we still got a couple of people who need to tell us their finishing <laughs> moves, so scoop getters. Oh, I, I mean, I, I, I can't beat any of that stuff. Um, I was going to say I like the rock bottom because as a person who's administering it, it's very easy. Yeah, you got to You can't hurt yourself. You're not like, I love the stunner, but you got to fall on your ass every time you do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't look like over the years it it is going to be fun. You can't do that forever, but yeah. the rock bottom you can do forever. Like you literally just bounce. The guy does all the, the work. Trampoline and <laughs> yeah, the fall guy's doing all the work. The guy jumps and lands on his back. You're just one hundred percent. You're just the one for the ride. Ever. <laughs> no, we'll call that the scoop a loop. 
<laughs> but I'm, it's the rock bottom. Boom. Jenners. I'm, I, I mean, anything off the top rope. Just because. Like Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Yeah, like a super flop. That's what I want to do when I was yeah. a kid. Now as an adult, I break my yeah. ass doing it. But yeah, yeah anything like yeah, a, you look like, like, a, like, a like an RKO guy. off the top rope or something. I'm not know? a top right. I'm not a top yeah. rope guy. No. no. Like a I Kevin, mean, you Nash, can Kevin Nash that shit. That's no, I'm more, I'm more, of, I'm more of a Nash. George the Animal Steel. There, you the are George George yeah. King Kong Bundy. Uh, King Kong Bundy. You just you put the All you had to do is just, just inflate him a little bit. He's King Kong Bundy. Look at him. Yeah, How does not say I use a two by four and hit somebody Hell! over the face? <laughs> <laughs> the hacksaw like, what? Jim Duggan. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Shit early. I haven't done that in a long time. All right. I love that off ramp question. All right, what motivates people to wake up at 5 a.m. every single day? <laughs> Fucking paycheck. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, if we're being serious about it, it's about uh, it's about making the most out of your day, man. You know, you're limited time-wise, right? So people who have limited time can get a lot more stuff done uh, at 5 a.m., than you can at 9 a.m. when everybody's calling and texting and emailing and you know everybody needs something. So if I wake up at 5 a.m. and I want to walk for half an hour and 45 minutes, uh, I do that. Nobody bothers me. I don't take. I don't get up at five. I, get, I do get up at six and I do walk because nobody can bother me. Right. So it's uh, yeah, it's about doing more with what you got, man. I mean that's that's the real reason. Hundred percent. Hundred percent with scoop, getting in front of the day. That was the only thing I liked about morning radio, was your your day was almost seventy five percent over by the time anybody else got to work. Oh, absolutely! Before they got their first nine cup of coffee, your day was yeah, yeah, yeah nine o'clock. Yeah. Everyone's rolling in, oh, starting their day, and you're like, I got forty five minutes. So left. you're telling me you didn't love waking up at five a.m. just for the f- f- pure joy of trying to make people laugh and have a good time on their way to work? Oh my God, no. <laughs> and neither did you so stop laughing yeah uh, you know, who's next uh I, I will say i will say this i think at a certain point if you do it for so long i think the grown-up version of motivation is actually being disciplined right somebody asked me the other day they're like you know hey, you know and i and i, I told him i was like you honestly think i'm motivated to do what i do you think i'm motivated you think i'm motivated to put this gear on come in on days off and do all this stuff no I said, I've lost motivation years and years ago, but I know I have to do it. You know, it just becomes a point in your life where you just got to make that change and be like, ah, fuck my motivation. <laughs> if I'm waiting to be motivated, I'm a human being. I'm going to just rather roll over and go back to sleep. So I think those people just come to a healthy mindset that they need that discipline to just do what they got to do. Like, just do it. Like, they're, they're, like the University of Miami needs to do this year. Just do it. Like, enough, enough. You've not done it for so many years. Just do it. So <clears throat> last question. What just screams this couple isn't going to make it? <laughs> oh, there's so, first so many. There's, there's <laughs> so many. Um, oh, you want one? You want uh, you want sound like what do you want? Yeah, um, if you want to rattle off like really quick ones, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Allow it. So, um, uh, let me ask the boss. Oh, that question? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they Good refer luck. to the other person as the boss? No, no, no. If I, if I can have permission. Okay. Mm. Like, good luck with that shit. Go get your permission. <laughs> I might want Because I, I know the answer. You're going to go get your permission. Mm. I already know the fucking answer. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, you'll get tired of that eventually. Especially if it's earlier in the relationship. <laughs> yeah. I, I think for me, it's somebody who habitually, and I mean habitually, they always bring up the past. I think that's just doomed for failure. If you're constantly living up the past, I know a buddy, and I I feel bad for this dude. She's st- and they've been married for years and years and years. She's still bringing up high school relationships. Oh fucking Jesus! Just stop! I fucking punch her in the face. So 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 when the, the Dallas word comes up, <laughs> going to the big D, and I don't mean Dallas, the <laughs> other the other Dallas word. When it comes up, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get it. She's still bringing up shit. Good Lord. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I have nothing. I got nothing to add to this. 
For me, it's when one person talks incessantly more than the other. I was like going to say, that was one of my other ones. Stop. Because it's always the meme of the guy at the club where the girl is standing right. there and he's just in her ear going on and on and on and on. And on. She yeah. looks like she wants to jump out a window. <laughs> like, that ain't going to happen. What if it's, well, it's dude you know, talking about like the, uh, look, I mean, people have the inherent um, nature. They just want to talk about themselves. Yeah. Enough so, about you. What do you think about me? <laughs> it's one of those things where if you, and we, we, we practice this all the time in my business. Um, I'm looking for answers, right? If I'm sitting down with a potential client or a client, I'm looking for answers. So I'm not, I'm not really saying much about me. I'm going to ask a bunch of questions and they're all going to be open-ended and you're going to tell me everything I need to know. And you're going to love doing it, even though you don't have any idea that you're doing it. But when you see these relationships, you see people out, like you said, especially if it's like a date, it's a first date or a second date. And one of them is just talking, 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 go, go, talking. Go, 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 they're go, just go, talking go. about themselves. And the other yeah. person's like, holy shit, I can't wait to get out of here. Tough. That's a tough one. All right. There's so many more. I could talk about this all night. This <laughs> I'm right up scoops out. Bonus, I got a highlight. Bonus podcast. One. Yeah, this is great <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I love to see people crash and burn because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, a, <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs> great. It's a look. It's all based on insecurity. Hey, Most of all, it's insecurity. Way random, random row showing up here. I had a friend of mine listen to like letting go or not letting go simple the other day, and they wanted to know how come he sounds Australian when he sings. <laughs> Just random, and I'm like all the way done with my whiskey. So I was like, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I could hear that a little bit. He Never sounds. I said that. most some people who are English sound like when they have English accents, they sing. They actually sound American. Australian guys sing more, sound like more English. But I was like, yeah, there's a couple words I can hear that. Well, also. so you know, you know that singing and talking are two different sides of the brain. Yeah, yeah. Well, your one your one side of your brain's from down under. I just want you to know that. Interesting. Yeah. Toast. Who's not going to make it? How do you know? Oh yeah, no, I, don't, I got nothing on that one. He already pulled the ripcord on that. Oh, toast! Toast is solid. He, he's yeah. always really good at that. I just, I, I, I got, I, I got distracted. Uh, baseball lost to Bethune Cookman. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> They're sixteen and <laughs> really? twenty now, so that's fun. Yeah, that's fucking great. Yeah, yeah, Midweek game times. to Bethune. Midweek game to Bethune Cookman. Six four. They lost at home. Jesus, good God Almighty. Yeah, good for Bethune. <laughs> oh, but there's some good news for those of you listening to the pod today, uh, Thursday morning. Tonight at 8 o'clock, Pate State is with Mario Cristobal yes. in Coral yes. Gables at 8 p.m. We're big Pate State fans. So there you go. The alumni, Pate State. So, yeah. Love Interview it. our boy. Cool. Through proxy. Through proxy. Awesome. All right. Love we got one question left or no? No, that was Let's five. do a bonus no, question because Toast didn't answer it. Oh, my Fuck God. Fucking well, you know, I mean, it's your fault. I, I did the bonus tomorrow. question with fucking the, the Masters green for you. Your fault. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I How many times I, have you not answered a question? All right, here we go. You guys haven't forced me to do another one. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what is the best <laughs> pickup line you've ever used or heard? Oh, God. I don't really have any. Pickup line. Well, then we're going to have to ask another fucking question. Yeah, Scoop's not going to have an answer. Yeah. You're hot as fuck. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never heard the what fucks like a tiger and winks? <laughs> that's pretty good i've heard it i've heard it I've heard it now well it's hard to hear a wink on over a podcast uh, hey, but hey. You, you know i'm winking oh <laughs> uh, okay oh fuck all right we've kind of done a version of this question but i'm just randomly picking one what would you tell your 19 year old self i've done this before all right i just said that um yeah i mean well, i don't know buy apple stock amazon stock all the stocks yeah Buy Bitcoin, buy all the yeah, Bitcoin, yeah. and then sell it when it hits 20000 There you go. <laughs> Before it crashes. Are we renegotiating that one, too? No. That's no. Fine. We're good. He uh, answered one. He answered the bonus him, one. Just just tell tell him him that, uh, so he gets his stay locked in that Stay locked in that 3% mortgage, young man. <laughs> that you get in 2018 and don't yeah. ever let it go <laughs> let it go let it go all right jenners what are our show titles for this week oh goodness uh nutella nickel yeah I mean, five yeah. twos uh no running at the masters uh he's a man of the people he and then i think your winner here is the famunda funk and burnt toast <laughs> famunda funk 
In the Fremunda <laughs> Funk, yeah. yeah. I like the, the Fremunda Funk. funk. The Fremunda yeah. Funk. And there yeah. you go. Beautiful. All right. All right. That is a fucking show. As always, go Canes. Go! Times two. Bye.